Hello beautiful friends, thank you for stopping by and watching me, don't go nowhere, I have something very special to show you. This is like an annual event for me, I like to share this special idea that I use for myself. Everybody, uh, many people now make timetable, I know you already have a timetable of what you want to do, I know that you We have 12 months facing us now. January to December, right? Because we can those days and months, right? So we want to put ourselves on track what we want to do each of those months that make up 12 months for a whole year. So how I do track myself and how I do put it together so it will enable me to know how far did I go for the whole year. For this whole 12 months, how did I do? So if you do this that I'm about to show you now, it has helped me a lot. And I have a handful, right? People ask me, you do a lot of things, how do you put it together? This is one of the ways that I do. And you know what? I always like to share my ideas to everybody that wants to listen. If you want to adopt it, that's okay to join to you what you guys do. So right now, stay tuned, I want to show you. I do put an organizer, I do write it, I buy a exercise book, I also have it on my tablet, I have it on my mobile phone also. So anywhere I am, I have access to things that I want to do, how I want to do it. So I have, let me show you, this is my exercise book that I got. So you can get this from anywhere, anywhere from bookstore and walmart and all that that's where i get my stationery. so now you have demarcation okay so where you put down every month what you want to do every day what you want to do every week how you want to achieve what you want to achieve so now when you wake up but first and foremost i like to put my god first in everything that i do I don't keep him at the end, I put him first. So if you do the same, I think it will be the beginning of your blessing. So um, organize your months. So what I do, I organize my months. For example, January, I want to rest um, for one week. And from the second week, this is what I want to do. I will put it down from day one to the last day of my working day. It is Monday to Friday. Each day, what do you want to do? So when you wake up, you go back to what you want to do for that day. You have a focus of what you want to do for that day. So that will help you put you on track. So even if anything comes up, at least you have something that you put down of what you want to do. So you focus on it. If you now achieve more things or some other opportunity comes your way, that is now bonus. That is addition. Okay. So, but put down everything that you want to do. At least we have a new um, year, which is 2023. Many of you are like, okay, in 2023, I want to do this. I want to be able to see, be able to achieve this this year. So, put down what you want to achieve. How you want to produce, proceed in achieving it. So mark your timetable. Who do I want to talk to? Who do I want to meet? Where do I want to submit proposals and all that? Write it down, put it together. When when you submitted it, you put it down the date, who you met, your follow up, when you want to follow up. Put those things down so you don't forget. And if you put them down, it will help you every day to go back, waking up and going straight to what you want to do. Not that you woke up, you don't know where you want to start from. So if anything changes, at least you have basics of what you want to achieve. You know what I mean? So that will help you. That helps me and I know it will do for you. So every month, then you'll be able to do plus and minus put out. What did I do for the month? So you'll be able to uh, uh, assert which one you want to carry over to next month. Or if you were able to get everything you wanted, 
So that is how I proceed week to week, month to month. So at the end of the day, I'll be able to know what do I need to do. For example, in March, I had this project that I wanted to accomplish in March. Um, maybe I didn't get all of them. So which one was left? Why didn't I get it? So that will help me to know what went wrong, what I need to do better. If I'm carrying over to another month, what, do that, what did I do wrong in last month in March that I need to correct in April? You write it down. So that will help you to keep yourself on track. Always check up on yourself, check up on what you're doing, what you did right, and what you did wrong, and what you need to add, and what you need to follow up with. So that is how I track my days, month to month, week to week, and of course things might come up. There are things, some of them you will get, some of them you will lose, but at least you put yourself in track, and that will help you to keep you busy. But um, this is the tip that I want to share with you. I hope this helps. And um, let's try our best. Be productive. Always be busy with something. You know what you're doing? You're giving God something to bless. So I'm coming in. So you have your mind focused, okay? And it will be less stress and less thinking. So I hope this helped you. And if you like this video, please share. And also do like and comment. Thank you. Bye. I love you.